Hey guys, welcome back to another Windows 8 theme overview. So today I'm going to be giving you guys something even special than I usually do with my other themes. Now this is a little bit exciting for some of you and some of you just might not care, but I hope to go ahead and grab your attention uh, when I say this, but I'm going to incorporate for you the arrow feature in relations to a theme preview that is coming up. Now this is in beta and the whole arrow feature is going to be revolved around a theme called Charmeleon. It's for Windows 8 and it's in beta mode and this is a test version for the new concept that a user is looking forward to work on if you want to stick around on how to install this correctly and apply it to your Windows 8 desktop then stay tuned so the whole concept of this is to give you more of an arrow feature more of a glass glaze look for your windows and borders and I do believe this is exactly what this theme has in mind as you can see the whole background in the window is a see-through and that's brought to you by an application called Black Glass Enhance. Now, Black Glass Enhance allows you to go ahead and make it see-through. Now, the biggest feature that we are concentrated on is the DWM hook, which incorporates the arrow code somewhat. Not necessarily because applications like Fraps does not allow you to record because it requires an arrow code. However, this right here, the DWM hook, gives it more of an arrow glass look. As you can see, if I were to go ahead and scroll over here, you can see the window, you can see the Google icon. It's it's more of a, a glossy look, if you can see. If I were to go over here to these icons, this is the theme right here, and it gives you more of a solid look. It doesn't have anything showing unless you hover over it. If you were to go over here, you have a particular scroll bar, and this scroll bar, you know, is just very minimal, and I guess this theme, Charmeleon, is targeting that type of aspect to it. Now, if we go over here, you can see, too, it's just like very, very see-through. And also, just like the whole Explorer, you got these minimal icons and it's just remarkably exciting just to go ahead and see this in action and once applied onto your desktop. The browser doesn't have anything see-through unless you actually incorporate it to do it. Other than that, the only way that you can do it is if you were to incorporate it using the Black Glass Enhance. The theme, like I had told you, is called Charmeleon. It's for a test. This is just a preview if you guys want to go ahead and download it. Stay tuned on how to download it. on how how to install it and how to apply the arrow code. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're actually starting from scratch. Let's just say that. What you want to do is you want to make sure that your system is patched to go ahead and allow third-party premium themes. Also, you just want to go ahead and look on the link below that I have and you can use a patcher that is listed there. I will go ahead and name it Theme Patcher and the link will be right next to it. The next thing that you want to do is you want to install the theme to the theme folder to its appropriate place. Now, all you have to do is just go ahead and get the theme folder and drag it out over here and uh, close this up. Once that happens just open this you want to hover and highlight both of these and you want to copy them and then you want to go over here and then you want to go over here then down to the Windows subdirectory and down to the folder where it says resources and I believe it's right here and then to the folder called themes once you get there all you have to do is just right click and paste and it'll be placed into your folder now in order to go ahead and get to the theme all you want to do is just right click and go to personalize and just click the theme right here now the theme itself it's gonna be loaded in black so the thing that you want to do is you want to change the color but before you first change the color you want to go ahead and apply the arrow feature first so for right now I will go ahead and close this and next what you want to do is you want to go ahead and download the black glass enhance I will have the link next to the third-party patcher theme and once you get that all you have to do is just drag the folder onto your desktop now what you want to do is just you want to copy this right here and you just want to copy it to a safe place just say for example the C disk for right now just right click and paste it and then you want to run the application by right clicking it and running as administrator now next thing that you want to do is you want to go to the personalize and you want to go to the color and you want to just click on any color that you want for example this right here you can go to the intensity and change it up a bit for example this color might be good I'll save changes and I will exit this and what I can do is I can go to options I can enable that to start up whenever my computer is starting up and then press save now the very last thing that you want to do is you want to go over to the DW hook folder or the zip file you want to open it and you want to go ahead and copy all these and put them over to the desktop there are three items keep that in mind you want to go ahead and copy those items and you want to bring them to the same location where you put the black glass and handset and you just want to right click and paste them now once you have it pasted all you have to do is just right click on the DWM 
loader, press run as administrator, and then press OK. Next, all you have to do is just minimize this dwm.exe and press minimize and exit out of here and just open Explorer once more. Now, there you have it. You have your arrow feature. If you wanted to get that darker color and just like a more of a transparent color in the middle, all you have to do is just go over here, press that, just anywhere on this area, and then press it again. If you notice, you'll see a darker color on the borders, but here in the here in the window area, you'll see more of a transparent look. But overall, you have a transparency that you can see when I hover over the folder. Now, if you guys wanted to change your colors, you can go ahead and get an application called Arrow Tuner. I'll give you the link. It's at WinArrow, so just go ahead and keep in mind with that link. So that's exactly how you apply this theme. That's exactly how you apply the arrow feature. But keep in mind, this is not the real arrow code and this is all for testing. So anything that you do by mistake and anything that will harm your computer is your fault. So keep in mind, be cautious. If you need any help, go ahead and leave comments in regards to what you need help with and I will be sure to answer them as best as I can. So if you guys like this video, if you like the new feature of the arrow, go ahead and thumbs up and uh, share this video so others can go ahead and apply the same thing as you can. And until next time, see you later guys. All right, take care, bye.